Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be giving you a little tip and trick, uh, something I like to call the secret search feature in Scratch Live. Now I don't know, I don't think this feature is documented anywhere in the manual. Uh, not too many people know about it. Uh, maybe some of the more older users of Scratch Live know about it, but I'm sure a lot of you new users probably don't know about this feature. Uh, and it can be helpful in certain circumstances and situations. Uh, so I like to call this the secret search feature. Now normally to search you have to click on this highlight bar right here and you know type in uh, whatever you're trying to search for. Uh, however, there's another kind of hidden search feature in Scratch Live, uh, like I mentioned, that not a lot of people know about. Uh, however, to use it though, you have to, um, cer certain circumstances have to be set up. Uh, if you go in the setup menu, the playback keys use shift option, that has to be checked. Uh, it won't work if you have the option unchecked, which I personally do because I don't like having to use the shift, hold the shift key down plus press whatever keyboard shortcut I'm using. Uh, even though I have a 62 and MIDI controllers now, so eh, maybe I'll keep it on now. Uh, but anyway, so yes, the playback keys use shift option that has to be checked or else it's not going to work. All right. Now, basically how the search feature works is when you're sorted by any of the columns, well, so let's say I sort by BPM. Uh, well, I play house and techno. All my BPMs are pretty similar and close anyway, so uh, it's not a good one. Let's go by key, okay? Because key goes from 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A or at least Camelot key code does. I use mixed in key, so I use Camelot key code and not music note notation. Uh, but anyway, so okay. So we're sorted by the key column. Now, I have a track highlighted. Now let's say, I don't know, I want to find a track that has a key of 8A, for example. Okay, sure, yeah, I can just scroll all the way down to the bottom to find the track with 8A. Or I can just simply press the 8 key on my keyboard, and that will jump all the way down in the list to the first track that has a key of 8. So this is a good way to uh, automatically jump to a track uh, that you're trying to look for, it, or at least save you some time and not have to scroll up and down looking for it. So I'm at 8 right now, so let's go 3. If I hit 3 on my keyboard, it'll jump back up to uh, the first track that has a key of 3, or, well, I don't know, let's do 10, hit type 1, 0. There you go, it'll jump back down. Uh, 2, it'll jump back up to the first track with 2. Uh, but you get the idea. So uh, you can do this with any other column, too, that you're sorted by. So... Uh, especially, this is useful if you're looking for a particular song. So if we organize by song, uh, I don't know, let me find a song I want to try. Let's see if this one right here. Let's try and find this Poison song, okay? So let's say I'm up here at the top of this song. All right, so let's just type in Poison. So P-O-I-S-O-N. See, it jumps right to that. Uh, it jumps right to that song. And you didn't have to use the search bar over here, uh, which, you know, some people, you know, they want to be able to search in a crate only instead of the all feature because if you hit com control or command plus f uh that goes into the all crate and takes you out of the crate that you were currently in a lot of people don't want that they want the feature they want to be able to search in just a specific crate only and you can use this secret search feature to do that uh, so again uh, whatever column you are sorted by and you will notice that the column is a um you know it's slightly uh, lighter shade of gray than the other one so that's easy to tell which column you're sorted by uh, so I'm sorted by song right now let's sort by artist okay so now all my artists are in alphabetical order A to Z so I'm down here at the bottom at web uh, so let's go back up to the top let's hit B and that will jump to the first track uh, in the list that has an artist that begins with the letter B uh, so there you go that is the secret search feature uh, that's the gist of it at least so but I think you get the idea uh, so yeah, so whatever column you're sorted by, just type whatever you know you're looking for on your keyboard. You don't have to go up here in the search bar. Uh, just type whatever. So if I hit J, it'll jump to the first track with the artist that begins with the letter J. And uh, so that is the secret search feature. Remember, you have to have the playback keys you shift option checked in the setup menu. Uh, it will not work if you have the option unchecked. So you have to have that option checked. And uh, that's basically it. So whatever column you're sorted by. And you just type in whatever you want to search for it in that column. So, again, just one last quick example. Uh, BPM. Let's say I want to find a track with 126 BPM. So I type 1, 2, 6. Okay. And there you go. Bam. It'll jump to the first track in that list that meets the criteria of 126 BPM. Uh, so there you go. So this is what I like to call the secret search feature in Scratch Live. Again, it's not really documented in the manual or anywhere. At least I don't think. I haven't seen it. Uh, a lot of the older users uh, probably know about it, but a lot of the new users probably don't. I know this was talked about a lot uh, in the forums a couple years ago, but it's kind of uh, lost uh, 
headway over the years. Uh, kind of forgotten about, but it's still there. And it is a very nifty feature uh, in certain circumstances and situations. So uh, here you go. I'm bringing it back out for all you to use and enjoy. So this is what I call the secret search feature in Scratch Live. 